Hello everyone, I'm Ella, your dating coach. In this lecture, I will talk about the types of physical touch that women crave. Guys, do you currently have a woman in your life with whom things are going well? Or maybe there's someone you're almost certain you'll start dating? You might be thinking that if you initiate physical touch like a man, she could completely become your woman, but you might be unsure where to start. For such brothers, I will specifically explain how to proceed with physical touch to be successful and make her completely yours. Furthermore, I'll teach you how to gain a woman's affection and stimulate her instinctive desires through physical touch, ensuring you both spend passionate time together. If you're still in an awkward stage, I'm confident you'll be able to progress to a relationship where natural physical touch is possible. You will also learn a very reliable method to succeed in physical touch and completely make her yours. Now, I'm about to tell you the surefire way to get closer to her, which you'll really miss out on if you don't know. Please subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. Many brothers struggle with timing when it comes to physical touch. If you're unsure about when and how to start in a particular atmosphere, I'll now tell you the three perfect stages of physical touch that can explode a woman's sexual desire and lead to a steamy night. Pay close attention as I explain these key points. Before explaining this method, let me caution you about something. This method should not be used if you've just met the woman or haven't known her for long. As I always emphasize, heart-to-heart -heart communication should come before physical communication. Attempting this method prematurely, without having had a proper conversation or significant mutual affection, could lead to serious trouble. You must be cautious as it could not only damage your relationship with the woman but also lead to potential legal issues. While I understand our brother's desire to quickly become close and familiar with a woman they like, women's emotions don't progress that swiftly. There needs to be a foundation of trust and intimacy, built upon the mutual understanding that neither is a strange person. Now, I will teach you three types of physical touch that can significantly increase your chances of spending a passionate night, raising the likelihood to over 90%. These are not unhelpful and random methods like pretending to read a palm or casually touching a hand or shoulder. These are practical and effective approaches in real situations, so make sure to watch the video to the end. First, bring your face as close as possible to the woman's. You might think, what are you talking about? How can I suddenly bring my face close to her neck? But. If there's a proper pretext, it won't seem so abrupt. The neck is a sexually sensitive area for women, and even a slight touch can create immense sexual tension. If there's no mutual affection, this can risk damaging the relationship, but if there is, it's one of the quickest ways to arouse sexual desire. The key, as I mentioned earlier, is pretext. Depending on the pretext, the action can seem either out of place or completely natural. If you naturally lead the situation and initiate physical contact with a good pretext, you can progress smoothly without major obstacles. Let's talk about how to create a pretext and proceed. If you're drinking at a bar with a woman, it's unlikely you'll be sitting face to face. It's important to move to a seat next to her and pretext is crucial here too. The most natural way is to sit next to her when returning from the restroom. If she asks why you're sitting there, you can playfully respond, I thought you looked pretty from the front, and I wanted to see if your profile is just as beautiful. Don't immediately initiate physical contact after moving seats. Continue the natural conversation for about 5 to 10 minutes as before. Then, gradually set the mood and say, I've been noticing a nice scent from you. Are you wearing perfume? Or what shampoo do you use? 
It smells good. To convey that I'm curious about your scent and I like it, I can say things like your scent is really nice. Then, I naturally bring my face closer to the woman's neck as if I'm smelling it. The most important thing here is to genuinely give the impression that I really like the scent. In that close state, I say, your scent is really nice. This way, the breath from speaking touches the neck, creating a strong sexual tension for the woman. After creating a certain level of sexual tension, it's important to slightly ease the mood. Asking about the perfume or shampoo and saying I should buy it too helps to adjust the atmosphere. The second strategy is to overturn the woman's expectations. If you're engaging in light physical contact like holding hands, the woman will naturally and unconsciously anticipate what the man will do next in her mind. She might think, now that we've held hands, next will be a hug, then a kiss, and so on. If you move within the expectations she naturally forms, it's hard to stimulate her desires. If the woman is already deeply into you, anything can be exciting, but that's rare, so it's better to approach this as a normal situation. How can you deeply arouse a woman's desires to spend a passionate night if you're just receiving normal affection? Let me explain using the situation of drinking alone with the woman as an example. Suggest a light game to play while continuing natural conversation, to help sober up. The type of game isn't important. What's important is not the game itself. A simple game like rock paper scissors is fine, but I will explain a game that's fun for the woman and has a 99% chance of winning. This can also be a way to check if she's drunk or not, creating anticipation and curiosity. The game I'll introduce is the wrong answer game. You ask the woman a total of five questions, and she must answer all of them incorrectly. If the respondent gives a correct answer to even one question, the person asking the questions wins. For example, if you ask the woman, are you a man? She must answer yes to give a wrong answer. Let's move on to a practical example. If the woman accepts the game proposal, start with a light first question. Please let me know if you need any more assistance. If there's a deng tang, fish cake soup, as an appetizer on the table, I'll ask, what's the name of this appetizer? If the woman understands the game correctly, she will give a wrong answer like muscle soup or rolled omelet. The second and third questions will be similar. I'll also ask questions like, how old are you? And where did you buy your bag? These are easy so the woman will likely continue to answer incorrectly. Here's the key part, I pretend to forget and ask, how many questions have I asked so far? Most will cheerfully say three and fall into the trap. But a quick-witted woman might say ten and avoid the trap. Then I say, wow, you've played this game before, haven't you? This is where 99% of people fall into the trap and lose the game. It's important to always proceed the request with a small favor as it's less burdensome than just a favor. If you win the game, that's when you can start. The woman will ask, what's the favor? And I say, just close your eyes for a moment. With her eyes closed, she might think, is it just for a kiss? Or is he planning an event? This creates sexual tension due to the silent atmosphere. After looking at her for 5 to 10 seconds, I'll say, that's enough, and tell her to open her eyes. She'll be confused and ask, what was that? What did you do? I'll just say, I wanted to see you sleeping. She'll feel strange and unique emotions she's never experienced before. She might have expected physical contact like a kiss, but my action will completely overturn her expectations. 
She'll ponder the real meaning behind my words and feel a strange attraction because I didn't act as she expected. During the moment she had her eyes closed, she might have already imagined physical intimacy, so she's likely already sexually aroused. By not initiating physical contact and just saying I wanted to see her sleep, I might make her even more excited. The third part is to stop physical contact first. There's a psychological term called the Zagarnik effect. The effect I'm talking about is that people easily forget completed tasks, but unfinished or incomplete tasks linger in their minds, making it difficult to let go and leaving a sense of longing. When watching TV or YouTube, you often encounter moments where the broadcast is interrupted at crucial points, followed by advertisements, creating curiosity about what comes next. This is a sophisticated tactic used to keep viewers hooked and force them to watch advertisements. Using this psychological technique on a woman will leave her thinking about the unfinished physical intimacy with you. Let me explain in more detail. As mentioned, after increasing a woman's sexual tension through the first and second stages, initiating physical intimacy like kissing becomes easier. If a kiss occurs, and the woman starts to get excited, prematurely breaking off the kiss can create a sense of longing due to the Zagarnik effect. The more intense the interaction, the more emotional investment and desire are generated. By leaving her in an excited state, what happens next is up to you. She will be disarmed and eager, making it easier to achieve the desired outcome. I've just explained three methods for intensifying a woman's sexual desire through physical touch. Remember, it's crucial to gauge the mutual attraction before proceeding. If you accurately assess this, you can ignite her desires and make her yours. This has been Relationship Coach Ella. Please subscribe, like, comment, and set notifications. Thank you for watching the video to the end.